Okay, so here's a topic that was lost uh, by several students in a recent um, knowledge check. Predicting the single bonded molecular formulas formed by two elements. And so the question stem, of course, your question is gonna have different elements in it, but the question stem is gonna be the same. For each row in the periodic table, or rather in the table below, decide whether the pair of elements will form a molecular compound held together by covalent bonds. If the, ele if the elements will form a molecular compound, check the box and enter the chemical formula and the name. If the elements will form more than one particular or one molecular compound, use the compound with the fewest total number of atoms, okay? So we're gonna assume that they're all single bonds and we're gonna go through here and look at these, right? Element one, element two. So will element, will hydrogen bond with bromine in a molecular compound. So at first I'm gonna say, what do I mean by molecular? Wait, 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 what is that? If not molecular, then what? Molecular versus what? Ionic, aha, okay. Now ionic means that there's a metal and a non-metal in there, right? So is hydrogen a metal? No. Is bromine a metal? No, it's a non-metal. So yes, they will make a molecular compound. All right, let's keep going down. Is carbon a metal? No, it's a non-metal. Is chlorine a metal? No, it's a non-metal. So yes, they will make, oops, this is a yes, yes. They will make a molecular compound. Is sodium a metal? Whoa, yeah, that's from the left side of the periodic table. Yes, it is a metal. So no, they will not make a molecular compound, okay? No. All right, now, so the chemical formula then is irrelevant because it's not a molecular compound, right? Now we have to say, all right, hydrogen and bromine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up hydrogen and bromine, I'm gonna open up a new uh, layer so I can disappear this and let's go here. Uh, hydrogen and bromine. And the way to do this then is to go through and make the molecular building Lewis structure for it, right? So hydrogen's in group one, so it's only gonna have one electron in its outer shell. Bromine's in group seven, so it's gonna have seven. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so bromine is gonna wanna make one bond, right? Because it doesn't, it's got one electron, which is not, not, uh, um, not uh, paired up, and hydrogen's got one that's not paired up, right? Okay, so I can see that the that the molecular compound is going to be formed is that HBr. Okay, so the formula for it is HBr. Let's go back over here now. The formula for this, let me go back to red. The chemical formula is HBr. Okay, what about carbon and chlorine? So let's go back over here and do the same thing. Carbon and chlorine. It's in group four, one, two, three, four. Chlorine's in group seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it looks like carbon's gonna wanna make four bonds and chlorine's gonna wanna make one, right? So it looks like what's gonna, what we're gonna get then is carbon is going to be here and chlorine is gonna be there and it's going to look like that, okay? Uh, just in case anybody's eyeballs are being bothered by the fact that we don't have all the electrons drawn. So there's the full Lewis structure of CCl4. Okay, let's go with black. CCl4 is the chemical formula for it. Let's go up here. Carb or CCl4, I'm trying to say the name. All right, now we're, now we're supposed to name this. Well, HBr, so we named this in chapter three in Chem 1. This looks like it's a binary acid. 
So the binary acid HBr, with a binary acid we, we say hydro base ic acid, right? And the base for this is brom, hydrobromic acid, okay? So this is hydrobromic acid. And this is a covalent compound, it's not an acid. So we name that for monoditri and so on. So it looks like it's carbon, blank, chloride. And how many chlorides are there? Four, right? So it's tetra, carbon tetra chloride. All right, carbon tetra chloride. All right. So we have now predicted the single the single bonded molecular compounds formed by two elements. First of all, we found that uh, you don't have a molecular compound if you have a metal. So it's going to be a big no. And then if you don't have a metal, then yes, you do have molecular compounds. And so we came up with the chemical formulas by 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 deciding with their valence electrons how many bonds they wanted. Right. All right. So I hope that's helpful and we will uh, look forward to talking to you more about it soon.